Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I'm back yet again for yet another Batman the Reanimated Series news video. Why the Reanimated Series? Well, certainly a lot easier to describe what we're looking at from the old DC Direct days to now the new McFarlane days. Kind of breaks it up a little bit better, and I feel like you know exactly what I'm talking about instead of saying, well, that one, this one... You get the idea. We have Wave 2 to talk about today. Very exciting, and it's certainly a very interesting wave. I'm actually very stoked on what I'm seeing. Now, with Wave 1, it was a bit of a mixed bag. A lot of people not really going for the cell shading. I, myself, falling in between. If it looks good, hey, I'm totally cool with it. But Batman and Robin were certainly the, the weaker of the wave, we'll say, with the villains definitely taking the cake along with the Batman Adventures Scarecrow, which I'm happy to say I finally acquired one, so that was very cool. Plus, Alfred is hitting store shelves now for the holidays, and he has zero cell shading, so a lot of people should be stoked on that one. But before we get into things, as always, I want to say thanks so much for always watching my videos, and if you are interested in anything that you see, as we talk about it, I will have Target affiliate links down in the description below, or they may even pop up on the screen. So stay tuned for that, uh, for those of you interested. So we'll go ahead and jump right into it. First and foremost, we're going to be getting a new four-character wave featuring a very interesting Build-A-Figure. The first figure to make said Build-A-Figure is the Joker. And... It's always nice to have a Joker in your wave, right? This one has the cell shading again. It is not too heavy, though. It seems to be a lot more, we'll say, within the, the realm of reasonable, right? I like what they've done with the face sculpt. And I do like that they put him in the coat this time around with the wide-brim fedora. I think that that looks really good. Very... Mask of the Phantasm, we'll say. That's what it always reminds me of. Of course, he wore this many times in the animated series. But that one always just jumps out to me when he's standing in the doorway with Arthur Reeves, right? That was just awesome. Lovely, lovely movie. You gotta go watch that one again for the holidays, right? So, this Joker, with his purples and his orange shirts and his big old smile, right? He's gonna come with many hands, but unfortunately, nothing... To hold with said hands. A gun would have been nice. Heck, even a laughing fish. Something like that would have been really cool. See, that's the whole dealio. You get all these hands, but the odd thing is that there's nothing to do with them, right? And I know we can buy accessory packs, and I know that many of us have drawers full of weapons, but still, it's the Joker. You gotta have something. Even a, a joke in the box, right? Something like that. <laughs> A nuclear weapon, right? But here's the Joker all packaged up. Now, he does come with the arms of the Build-A-Figure. So, a lot of hands and arms in this box. But again, definitely love the retro throwback. The artwork on the packaging. I love seeing that. Really stands out on the shelf and brings back all those Batman the Animated Series nostalgic feels. And so, if the Joker gives you the definite ha well, you can go ahead and pre-order him. Now, we have Commissioner Gordon. Now, this is a, an interesting one where, again, we've had Harvey Bullock in the most recent reanimated reissues, right? So, he was a little bit of a mix between Batman the Animated Series and New Batman Adventures, but they went crazy with the cell shading, we'll just say. This Commissioner Gordon looks to be a lot more reserved. Even though they do have the cell shading on it, it's very minimal and to the point. From the photos, you can tell it's on his jacket, it's on his pants. It's not too crazy, it's not too heavy, but I think it's just the right amount. And for me, again, if you do it right, if you don't go crazy, if it looks good, then by all means, definitely do it. But I'm happy to say that this Commissioner Gordon, while he does come with a bunch of extra hands, actually comes with a bullhorn. Now, a gun would have been nice for the Commissioner, of the GCPD, right? That would have been very cool. But at least we're getting a bullhorn, and that harkens back to I Am The Knight when he's going up against the Jazz Man, and that's just cool, right? Maybe some removable glasses and a way to slump him over just the way Harvey Bullock found him, right? That's going too dark. Great episode, though, and he also comes with the head and the shoulder pads 
of the build a figure here he is all boxed up ready to go james gordon oddly enough it doesn't say commissioner gordon perhaps they're paying by the letter on these boxes but yes commissioner james gordon that's odd to say commissioner gordon why yeah you know it's let's just leave it alone commissioner gordon if you need him go ahead and pre-order him now and we have an interesting one one that i kind of go uh oh, it must have been too far into the run after we already talked about wave one we're getting batman so batman yeah it wasn't in his own line wasn't the standout for wave one that's for sure that cell shading went too crazy and again it looks like they've done the same thing now for those of you not familiar with batman the animated series for whatever reason please go and watch the show as soon as this video concludes but this is from the episode blind is a bat where Bruce Wayne gets blinded by a explosion, and then, however this works, but Leslie Tompkins develops a helmet that allows him to see so that Batman can go and take down the penguin who's stolen a, a test helicopter weapon thing, right? Doesn't make any sense. But lo and behold, they've made a figure of it, and I'm really not too upset. I, again, like these deep cuts, that's a nice way to go for the Batman reanimated series line, giving us something new. But please, for the love of God, stop doing the cell shading, or at least this type of cell shading for this Batman, and also fix the capes. Because these capes are just taffeta awfulness. Just give us the rubber cape, for the love of God. <laughs> now again, what I like to see here is that he comes with the helmet. Now I'm not going to say it looks perfect, but... I like that deep cut. I like they did that with the wire, and uh, hopefully it, it goes into his belt somewhere, right? <laughs> it doesn't... We'll have to wait and see on that one, to be honest with you. But in either case, yes, I like that they show me that they went ahead and watched the show. That's always a plus, right? When you can tell that the people making these toys care about the source material so i think we're good there now he also does come with some batarang holding hands and three batarangs but i'll tell you those are not batman the animated series batarangs by any means maybe kind of sort of an episode or two had some wackadoo looks at them but no that that's i would never say that that is <laughs> batman the animated series but I do like that he has the extra head portrait with the red eyes so that when he was wearing that helmet, he pulled the cowl down and he kind of had the whole uh, hard act look going on, right? So, hey, I dig it. I don't dig the cell shading. I don't dig the body. I have the regular style, original, Batman the Adventures continue, Batman the Animated Series. So at the very least, I'll get the parts and pieces for the Build-A-Figure and then I'll be popping that head off. And putting it on a, a good body. Because yeah, this one, again, it's really funny. Wave 2, another Batman not being the star of his own wave. Kind of being at the bottom. But for me, being that deep cut where I'm like, that's pretty cool. But getting it for all the wrong reasons, right? You want to be able to say, hey, this is a solid figure. Head portraits, the look, the idea of it, cool. The cape, the body with the cell shading, not so bueno. But if you need a whole blind as a Batman figure... Uh, you can definitely grab him now. Which leads us to the final figure of the four-figure Build-A-Figure Wave, Edward Nigma, the Riddler. And this one is the highlight, the standouts, the must-have for me. He comes with a bunch of extra hands. He's got his Riddler cane. He just looks slick, stylish. And I do like the cell shading on this one. It does not appear to be on his face which is a definite plus. I think staying away from the flesh tone and doing anything with cell shading in that sense, yeah, that's the smart move. Keep it on the jacket. Very cool. I love it. I'm definitely after this one. The whole Edward Nigma from the Batman the Animated Series, well, let's say the first series, not TNBA, of course, with a voice actor, John Glover, behind him. He was just a standout. I really just love this version of the Riddler. Very stylish. Love the suits. He was just cool. And I love that he has the cane. See, you could give the Riddler a gun all day if you want. But the Riddler cane is perfection. And really, that's all he needs. Now, he does come with a couple extra hands. Which, again, is great. And he comes with the Riddler cane, which is perfection. He also comes with the lower torso and the legs of the Build-A-Figure. As well as the Billy Club uh, for the Build-A-Figure. Which, uh, I'm very excited. We're getting to it. We're getting to it. Just give me a second. But here's the Riddler all packaged up, ready to go. 
number one for me, Riddler, Commissioner Gordon, and then, of course, we have Joker, and then Blind as a Batman. Those would be my tops in order. But the Build-A-Figure, you say, well, he definitely takes the cake. So, if you hadn't guessed it, we are getting Lyle Bolton, a.k.a. Lockup. And what a Build-A-Figure to be, right? That's very cool. By this image, it looks to be that, yes, he will scale nicely with the rest. The Condiment King was grossly oversized, for being honest. That's another thing. Don't go crazy on the build of figures Let's keep them in scale. But if you haven't seen Lockup, definitely check it out. He's kind of everybody's thinking in terms of what to do with uh, any type of Batman villain. Why do you keep rehabilitating him? Uh, just lock him up and throw away the key, right? Very cool episode. Very funny episode in the courtroom scene. <laughs> As dysfunctional as it is, but definitely give it a watch. And I'm pretty stoked on Lockup. I think that he looks great. He comes with the Billy Club. They've not gone overboard with the cell shading. The mask is very cool. The way that's angular kind of gives him that mouth and then the angled lines around him smirking, smiling. Very animated series. So very stoked on Lockup. This is a great second wave. I hope that we see vast improvements when we actually see them in hand, right? That's always something. As, as, as much as the figures look good in photos, right? You always got to wait till they're in hand. But again, I think that less cell shading, if you're going to do it, less is more, most definitely. And then improve upon the main character, Batman. Let's get rid of that cape and really make him the hero of the story once again. So, that will wrap it up for my quick news vid regarding Batman, the reanimated series, Wave 2 by McFarlane Toys. As I said, if you're interested in any of the figures, go ahead and pre-order them now through Target. They are Target-exclusive, Target-exclusive line. Anywhere you want to go, besides Target, they won't have them. Target is the place to be for Batman, the reanimated series. And you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know, let's talk everything Batman the Reanimated Series. We gotta watch Holiday Nights, right? That's coming up. So I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, riddle me this down in the comments below. Which of these four new figures from Wave 2 will be getting the Platinum Edition variant? And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.